good morning our viewers welcome on our video today uh, today we are looking at uh, chemistry and uh, we are revising this paper this paper is out of 100 marks and uh, this is from two work and uh, these questions they have a lot of knowledge and as we said uh, they keep on repeating these questions in different exam it can be cut mid-term end of term end of year and even kcse uh, you can find these questions in all those exams and um, before we do that we request you to subscribe to our channel if you have not yet subscribed uh, like this video and turn on notification to the sub subscribers we really want to thank you guys uh, for the support that you've given us you can see down here this channel is growing very fast because of your support and as we have said this one is form 2 uh, let us uh, go straight uh, to the work uh, you are told number one name two apparatus used to scoop solid substance from containers uh, you can use a spatula or tanks number two the bus and banner produces two types of flames you are told draw a well labeled diagram of the flame produced when the air hole is fully opened yeah, when it is fully opened it, produ uh, it produces non-luminous flame and it has those zones that you can see we have drawn it has pile blue zone greenish blue zone and then almost colorless zone go to question uh, next question you are told uh, how can brightness of the flame be reduced how can we uh, reduce the br brightness of the the flame by closing the air hole go to question number two a mixture of kerosene and water is said to be immiscible uh, what physical property of the two makes them not to mix thoroughly that one is density eh? they are they vary in density that is the property next list two list any two methods that can be used to separate this mixture you can use a uh, separating phenyl number two you can use decantation and then you can also use a dropper mm, to separate the two because one is denser than the other we go to the next one what do uh, do the lines uh, repre represented by letter G and the J stand for uh, there was a mistake on this question because we don't have the we don't have the the picture we go to I see give the name of sol a solvent used in paper chromatography name of the solvent that one is a uh, propanone or ethanol number four nitrogen oxygen and argon are obtained from liquid air by fractional distillation that's how you obtain uh, those gases fractional distillation next state the physical property that makes this possible to separate those gases uh, they have different boiling points that's why you can separate them next you are told uh, arrange the three gases in order of how they distill starting with the first so the first one to distill is nitrogen then argon then oxygen depending on their boiling point next list two industrial uses of oxygen gas this one 
uh, they repeat it even in KCSC industrial uses of oxygen number one in the manufacture of steel number two welding and cutting of metals next as a re reactant in fuel cells go to the next question that is number five you're told what is the chemical name of rust mm, i rated iron three oxide i rated iron three oxide next apart from sacrificial protection and oiling and greasing these two other methods used to prevent rusting other methods that you can use to protect protect the rusting rather than uh, sacrificial protection we can use alloying you can also use coating with other metals we go to the next question you're told what are the advantages of rusting stage two advantages of rusting number one adding ions ion nutrient to the soil number two help destroy worn out iron objects next creation of job opportunities we go to number six what, what is an what are isotopes isotopes are atoms of the same elements with the same atomic number but different mass number we go to the next one we are told chlorine 35 has a percentage abundance of 75 while the rest is chlorine that 7 calculate the relative atomic mass of the chlorine that is how you calculate that go to number 7 the following are are the formula of some ions and their electron configuration study them and answer the questions that follow you have a symbol mm, symbol and then we have electron configuration ions and then electronic configuration 288 rs 288 and so on and so forth you can see them clearly you are told the mass number of uh, of ion Q the mass number of ion Q is 40 draw it electronic arrangement showing nuclear composition and this one is very simple you just look at the electronic configuration and this is how you draw it very simple you get how many marks this one it has uh, two marks two marks which ion belongs to the same element and what is the atomic number of the element uh, we have uh, we belong to the same element we have v and j v and j let us see them in the table v and j v and j they are like that belong to the same element belong to the same element and their their the atomic number is 15 next you are told uh, which two elements belong to different periods from the others that is q and j let us look at q and j q and j and you can see how the electronic configuration is like and their ion how it is formed and how it is appearing that's why we are saying they belong to a different and uh, they belong to different periods from others complete 
the following equations and balance them aluminium plus oxygen you get aluminium oxide sodium plus water you get sodium hydroxide then hydrogen gas magnesium uh, plus hydrochloric acid you get magnesium chloride plus hydrogen gas then you should know how to balance you can only know how to balance these questions by doing a lot of a lot of uh, practical you get many equations then you balance them the more you try the better you become number nine write the formula of the following compounds calcium nitrate this is how it is written iron 2 oxide that is how it is written manganese 4 oxide that is how it is written zinc carbonate that is how you write it potassium sulfate that is how you you write it you write it lead 4 oxide that is how you write it uh, Copper hydroxide, this is how you write it. Aluminium phosphate, that is how you write it. Ammonium phosphate. Let's go to number nine. You are told to indicate the colors of the following substances. These ones you you need to to put them in your mind. I don't know, I don't know the formula that you will use. Maybe you can go to the laboratory and uh, see them physically ask your teacher to give them to you physically so that you can see their color copper metal it is brown ask your teacher or the lab technician chlorine gas greenish yellow or green magnesium flame it is white potassium flame that one is purple 